Hi, welcome back. Today we're making an ambient background sound effect. This is something that you could use on its own as an intro or an outro perhaps for a song or to spice up another part which needs some kind of ambience to it. Excuse my playing today, it's not amazing at the best of times but I've got a thumb injury which is making it quite difficult to play. Let's take a look at what we've got going on. As I often do when I want to make an ambient part that needs to sit above the rest of the instruments, I'm not using the cab because I want as much of the normal high ends made by the guitar and the amp as possible. The amp is the USA Clean model with the input drive pushed a little bit. It's not really a clean sound, neither is it an overdriven sound, but the extra drive just gives it a little bit more push. EQ is flat and the levels just brought up to zero dB because otherwise it's really quiet. To start the chain we have a compressor, 4 to 1 ratio, relatively fast attached to let just a little bit of transient through. And the filters up just a little bit just to make sure that no accidental low noises trigger the compressor. This is also giving me an extra 7 dB a level, again, because it's really quiet, so pushing that into the amp just helps a little bit. Sounds like this. I'm playing on the neck pickup and I've got the bright switch off, so it becomes quite a warm sound, although I've still got quite a lot of high-end content by not having a cab. Next, we can look at this main reverb. This is the deep space model with a nine second reverb time on it. And the mix is just under 40%. And this is a nice enough sound, just as it is. If I was using this sound with other layers, I'd be tempted to come into the EQ and bring the low cut up so that there's less low end content in the reverb, maybe even as high as 300. As you can see, we've got this parallel path here, which is going through a multi-delay and a reverb. Let's look at that. The multi-delay is doing some pitch shifting. It's at 100% mix because it's parallel to the main path. And I've got all four pitch shifters going. I've left the tempos where they are because I've got the diffusion all the way up. But we've got an octave on the left, an octave on the right, pan differently, and an octave down on the right, octave down on the left, panned opposite to the top ones. That should give us quite a wide pitch shifted sound. Now this will sound very different to the finished product, but just hear how the additional octaves thicken it out. We're sending that into the second reverb. I've gone for the tunnel. I've matched the time to the other reverb. We're at 100% mixed, but the level is down by 14 dB because I want this to sit lower than the main reverb. Again, if I was using this with other layers, I'd probably get this low cut and bring it right up, especially with those pitch shifted lower octaves. Now that on its own is good enough for ambient soundscapes, that's perfectly usable. But I want to add in some movement. So we've got a wah. I left all the settings exactly as they were when it loaded up, except for I right clicked on control, added LFO1, went to controllers. In LFO1, I matched the tempo to four bars and it's a sine wave. So if you go back to the wah, you can see that this is basically sweeping the frequencies over the course of four bars of the tempo we've got set. And that's going into both the main reverb line and the pitch shifted second line. So this should slowly move through the frequencies that we're feeding into the reverbs over time. 
Let's hear that. Maybe try some of the other wire models. Cry baby. Try the funk. In front of the amp, I've got a volume block which I'm using to make a little swell in. Volume's down at zero, and we've set the source of the modifier to envelope. The envelope's got a 42 millisecond attack time. I left everything else as it was. That just gives us a little bit of a swell in when we play our notes. And this is the step that I think gives this patch quite a lot of character. If I did a tremolo, that affects everything in the chain. I've got it set to 1 16th dotted notes. The depth I've left at 75%. I want just a little bit of the unaffected sound to come through. So it's got like a little bed of reverb that isn't being chopped up by the tremolo. And what this should give us is a really stuttery sound, which still has those nice crystals and reverb lines in it. Let's hear how it sounds. Let's try a different kind of LFO. Let's try the square. So they're both cool. Like I said, you could either use the sound to make a cool intro or outro to a song, or maybe play some chords and a lead line or a clean line that you have to give it a little bit more character. And you could experiment with placement of the tremolo and different times for the LFO for the wire to get quite a variety of sounds. You could even try this with a, a more distorted amp. In fact, let's see how that sounds. Let's go for V30 cab, like a Bogner shiver. Let's bring that drive down and make sure the level comes down because we had it boosted quite high before.
So you have some extra options there to get a bit more mileage out of that sound. Hopefully you got some value out of that. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.